Hey everybody, thanks for joining me today. Today we're going to take a look at this atomic lighter and we're also going to talk about plasma lighters in general. Alright, thanks for coming back. I wanted to show this to you. Um, I've been looking at these plasma lighters as of late. These really aren't something new. They've been around for a while. They're just starting to gain in popularity. And as a lot, of, a lot of you know, you've probably seen these in these type of boxes at the big box retail store. Um, they're for sale in any, you know, as seen on TV type place in any store. Um, you can pick them up fairly inexpensively. They're also all over Amazon. So if you follow the links to my Amazon store and you want to pick one of these up, it probably won't be the same as this one, but there are tons of different types. They're anywhere in the $15 to $20 range, and they're really handy. Um, one of the things I like about them is you get about 300 charges per, uh, per um, 300 sparks per charge. So you can just recharge these with any USB device that you want. So I'll give you an example. In my get home bag, I always carry a uh, little solar panel battery bank backup type thing. And to charge here, I would just plug that in. Plug that in here. Hey, what do you know? I didn't get it reversed this time. And as you can tell, that little blue light is blinking there. When that blue light is a steady blue, it's fully charged. I've probably sparked this now oh, 10, 15 times since it's fully charged. So that's kind of a handy thing to do. You're not dealing with um, flints, fluid, refilling stuff, or lighters that just die on you for no reason sometimes. So it's kind of like having a permanent lighter, like a Zippo that you don't need fuel and all that other stuff for. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you how it works and um, kind of how I use it for my stuff and how it would fit into your survival gear or your survival pack. Now, I will say something about it. If you're going to put this away in a bug out bag, okay, Make sure you put it somewhere where you'll remember to recharge it, because batteries don't hold charges forever. And sometimes our bug-out bags can be away in a closet for a year or half a year or whatever. We may forget to rotate stuff. So if you're going to put this in a bug-out bag, because it's a battery, because it's rechargeable, you probably want to make sure that you're keeping it topped off, you know, and charged. So we're going to go over the safety features on this, because I like this too, because it's a lot safer than a lighter. It's not going to light in your pocket. That's the first thing. First of all, first safety feature, it's got an on and off switch. So if I turn it completely off, nothing's going to happen. If I turn it back on, I'm good to go. Now my concern was I got this in my pocket, right? And that's closed, and I hit this button, and it starts melting the plastic, or the, as aluminum. This is actually a well-made thing. It's an aluminum body. Well, here's what I noticed. This goes only so far. Once you close that down, it actually shuts off the power. So you can't trigger this in your pocket with that lid closed. I was thinking it'd be a pain in the neck to have to turn it back on, open it up, and every time. So if you're going to put this in a pack, that's something nice to think about and know about. So it's a little bit safer than, say, a regular lighter. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to light up um, some uh, tinder with it and show you how it works. Another neat feature I forgot to mention is it's windproof. This does not blow out. I'm blowing on that fairly hard. Yeah, it won't blow out. You can't blow this out. Now, for me, around here in the desert, where we get high winds almost all the time, that's really cool. So we're going to light up some tinder. I'm going to bring this over here just in case I need to toss some of it into that barrel. First and foremost is our plain old cotton ball with some Vaseline on it. Real simple. Pop it in there. There you go. Done. <laughs> that was real easy. Then you've got my personal favorite, which is dryer lint, okay? I love dryer lint. It's real easy to light, real simple to deal with. Pop it in there. Boom, there you go. That's on fire. Now, this one, I wondered if it was going to work as well. This is just some plain old jute twine that I fluffed up on the end here. <coughs> I'm going to light it up. And there you go. That I can blow out. Let me toss that in there. So it lights up your jute twine just fine. Uh, let's try one of these. Now these, I reviewed these I think last year sometime. These are by a company called Mission Preparedness. 
They're the Ugly Stick reusable matches. And they come in, you know, a container similar to that. And I'll put the link down below so you can find these guys, because these are really cool. Um, just take these and kind of fluff them up on the end. And I kind of pre-fluffed this one a little. But honestly, with this lighter, you really don't need to do too much of this. Just drop it in there. And off it goes. The nice part about that is it can be relit as many times as you need it. So it's kind of a, a handy thing to have. But yeah, this will light pretty much anything that you're going to use as normal tinder. I did a very, very small feather stick on the end of this piece of fatwood, mainly because I don't want to burn this whole thing. So we're going to try that. Yeah, look at that. Lastly, I had to clear some stuff out of the way here, but I wanted to show you that this will also light your uh, butane and propane stoves. Turn it on, and there you go. You're good to go. Kind of similar to the same little piezo sparker type thingies they put on some of them, where you push a button and it lights it. You do not want to touch this. Um, it will give you quite a jolt. <laughs> I, I haven't experimented myself, but I've seen people try it, and uh, you don't want to touch it while it's going. If it does get dirty, because of the nature of what we're doing, we're outdoors, we may drop it in the dirt. They say the easiest way to clean it is to take a simple toothbrush and just brush it down. There's no need for any solvents or liquids or anything like that. And when you're done with it, you're going to be putting it away for a while. You can always shut it off on the bottom, close it up, toss it in your pack or pocket. So as you can tell, it can definitely light a whole lot of stuff. Really, really simple. Um, and there are many different designs. One of the drawbacks of this design is this lid. I like it for its safety feature, but it doesn't flip all the way out. So if I'm going in to say, let's say this is a birthday candle or something, and I'm trying to light it, this lid wants to get in the way a lot. So generally, I would probably like one without a lid. However, this one obviously works well. It doesn't get hot, so there's none of that. You don't have to worry about it. See, you can light it up. Turn it back on. Light it up. And you, if you hold this for, I believe, seven seconds, it will automatically shut itself off. I'm going to let it run its course there. Yep, there it goes. I can touch here, and there is absolutely no heat at all. So you're not dealing with flame, you're not dealing with fire, you're not dealing with anything that, you know, is going to burn in your pocket or your pack or anything like that. It is a little bit heavier than a regular lighter, but uh, for its versatility, I really don't mind that. It really is able to light a lot of different tinders and uh, work just as well as matches, except it doesn't blow out. So that's the Atomic Lighter. Um, you can find these in the As Seen on TV section. Uh, I'm going to add a bunch of different links to the Amazon store down below. And don't forget to shop there if you're buying any, even if you're buying the stuff I'm showing in this video. Even if you're shopping for something totally different, you can use that link. doesn't cost you any extra money, and you can help support the channel too. So, I'm going to put a bunch of these in the description down below from Amazon. But uh, if worse comes to worse, you can pick these up in any store that has an As Seen on TV section. A couple examples are Walmart, Walgreens, Big Five... All those places have those as-seen-on-TV type stuff. So I'm pretty pleased with it. I'm going to be using this. I'm going to be testing it out in my videos a little bit more um, just to see uh, how well it works because I like the fact that it doesn't deal, it doesn't go out in the wind. And I have tried to start fires out here for tests and stuff, and the wind will always get you out here. So it is kind of a cool thing. So anyway, that is the uh, plasma lighter from Atomic Lighter. Thanks for watching today. We'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.